Welcome back to another episode of the Purpose Babe Show. I'm your host, Corey Clark, and I seriously cannot believe that December is half over, that basically this year is over. I just, I don't know what happened, you guys. This year was crazy. And, you know, I mean, I know it was crazy for everybody. 2020 was crazy. But I seriously am at a loss for words as to, like, how we have even gotten here. But I must say I am really excited about where things are headed. And I hope that you're excited for 2022 as well. Um, I feel like I just was setting goals for 2021. And now the year is almost over and... I asked, I sent out an email actually today asking people, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you with where you are right now? And honestly, like, I feel like I'm maybe at a seven, which for me, I would rather be like a 10. But, um, but I feel like over these next two weeks, as I mentally prepare for the new year, it's going to help me feel like I'm finishing more maybe at an eight or nine. Um, So I don't know about you, but let me know. You can send me a DM on Instagram and let me know on a scale of one to 10 how happy you are with where you are right now. So 10 would be like, you know, you killed your goals, you accomplished everything you wanted to and more. You're like, you know, heading into 2022 with some momentum. Um, A one is like, heck no, I did not meet any goals. (laughs) I fell behind. And doesn't even matter where you are. I don't even care if you're like a negative number. Doesn't matter. You know, if there's breath in your lungs, then there is a reason that you're here. So anyways, I wanted to talk today. I actually have a couple of bonus episodes that are going to be dropping too. But um, we've just had so much craziness going on around here. And um, a lot of times for me, like... I use this podcast as a way for me to share content with you guys versus like writing a blog post or, um, you know, what have you. But so when I feel inspired and when I might normally just write a blog post, I like to sit down in my closet and record a little episode for you guys. And as I was reflecting on the year and feeling a little bit disappointed in where I am right now, Um, but also at the same time, super excited about what's to come. I just thought I need to share this with my people because, you know, possibly they're feeling the same way. And so if you're feeling like me, like you can't believe it's the end of the year already and, you know, we've got Christmas and New Year's coming. So it's not like there's a lot of time to even think about next year. Um, I wanted to try and encourage you to just start to get into that mindset. And that way, when January 1st comes, if you're going to set goals and if you're going to dream big for 2022, you can start now. You can start mentally preparing for that. You can start actually physically preparing for that. Um, Making some changes now that will help you in January you know, and whatever that is for you, it's, it's different for everybody. And that's the crazy thing is, you know, sometimes January people want to hit the ground running with some crazy intense health goals and go to the gym. Awesome. Some people just want to kind of regroup and get their life back together after the holidays. Awesome. You know, whatever it is for you, I think you can start now by doing a few things to help prepare you. So, Here's a few things that I am reflecting on and doing, and you can just grab a piece of paper and write these things down right now as I share them with you, or you can come back and listen later if you're driving and you can't write, but write down, I want you to sit down and reflect on the year and write down some of the things that you're the most proud of, you know, things that you've accomplished, 
maybe things you did, places you went, experiences you had, you know, a business goal you reached, or maybe you started a business, or maybe you started a podcast, whatever it is that you're proud of, and acknowledge it. Write those things down and list as many as you possibly can. And then after you write down the things that you're the most proud of, I want you to write down some of the things that disappointed you, you know, and sometimes we want to ignore these things and pretend they didn't happen. But in my experience, if you acknowledge them and write them down, it makes it so much easier to not just move past them, but to redeem them or change them change the outcome, get a better outcome in the following year. Okay, so then after you write down what has disappointed you, you're going to write down what do you want to be different about next year, right? When you get to the end of 2022, what do you want to be on that list of the things that you're the most proud of? Okay, and write those things down. And then I want you to write down how you need to show up in these last couple weeks of the year. How do you need to start showing up as the person who reaches those goals next year, who makes those changes? Okay, so like I said at the beginning, when you're writing down what you're most proud of, that's kind of how question three should be written. Um what things do you want to look different next year? So what are the things that you want to change next year? Those things. Okay, so if you want to be in a better place financially, how can you start showing up now, even though it's not 2022? It doesn't have to be like we're not even guaranteed another day. So don't wait for two more weeks to go by to then decide, okay, January 1st, I'm gonna wake up and be a different person. You can start showing up today as that January 1st person. And you can start showing up today as that person who reaches those goals, as that person who changes her finances, as that person who starts that business. You can start showing up today, right now, when you finish this podcast episode, you can start showing up as a different person. And it's a choice you have to make in your mind and you have to physically take action, okay? That's like one of my biggest problems with all of the woo-woo stuff is, you know, everybody wants to write things down and imagine things and then they don't want to take action. You have to take action. So how are you physically going to show up as the person who reaches those goals in 2022? Okay, so those four things, what are you most proud of? What has disappointed you? What do you want to be different next year? And how are you going to show up? And write those things down. And I would love to see them. If you want to share them with me on Instagram, I would love to see them. Um, I'm getting super excited about, you know, I think for me being able to, I know I have something that I'm looking forward to and planning in January. And so I'm already showing up and creating that stuff for the students and, you know, attendees in my 30 days of purpose challenge. And so I think, you know, if you're struggling to start showing up that way, what are some small decisions you can make to help show up as the person who achieves those things? What are some things you can start doing right now? Okay, so if this is something that you struggle with, if you're like, oh my gosh, Corey, I don't even know what my purpose is. I don't know what my goals are. You know, I feel like honestly, when people just sit down on January January 1st and make a list of goals, awesome. Like that's the first step. But if you're not making goals that are aligned with your purpose, with your vision for your life, with the values that you've created for yourself, for your business, for your family, if those goals are not aligned with that, and achievable, you're not going to reach them. And then you're going to be disappointed. And you're going to get a couple months into the year and you're going to be like, oh, see what a waste. Okay, so if that's you, I would love to have you inside the 30 days of purpose challenge. We are starting on January 2nd. And I wanted to have the first off, you know, New Year's Day, plus 30 days, then 
will be in the last 30 days of January, but it's going to be awesome. I've never done this challenge before. It's going to be intense. So if you're the kind of person that's like, no, you don't want to be committed to something. You don't want to make changes. This is not for you. But if you're the kind of person that knows like you need accountability, you need other women like also going after some of the same things. You need like-minded women. You need someone to actually like tell you step by step what to do and help push you along. Then this is for you. Like if you're like, I'm ready to go to the next level. I don't want to waste another day in this, you know, mundane life. Then I would love to see you in the challenge. Like I said, we start January 2nd. I'll put a link in the show notes for you to sign up. Um, it's the website is 30 days of purpose challenge.com, but I will add the link for you as well. And we're going to do some amazing stuff in there. It's going to be like four weeks of trainings and I'll be taking you through a framework to actually like help you really work out your purpose, your vision, your values, and set strategic goals for your life. Um, that are aligned with your purpose, okay? So this is your chance to finally do what you keep saying or maybe God keeps telling you in the back of your head like you hear him calling you to something but you're just not sure and you don't know how to work it out or what exactly to do next. So this is for you if any of those things have resonated with you. But like I said, we're going to do weekly live trainings so that you can learn how to create margin in your life and so that you have like the time and the energy to actually focus on your goals and purpose. And you're going to get clarity on your purpose. We're going to break through those limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck. Um, And we're going to do a goal setting workshop. Okay, so this workshop Like I sell this separately, but this is going to be included in the 30 day challenge because I want everybody to actually go through the workshop and set some tangible goals for their life. So we're going to do the workshop inside this challenge group and you're going to get like missions and a workbook and you know, like this is the works. And then we're also going to send you um, my 90 days of purpose planner. It's like a planner and journal in one. And it's what I use every single day. And it helps me get like my mindset right. But I've updated the planner and I love it so much more um, because it's more focused on God and what he wants for me and my life and my business. And so every morning I start with, you know, three things that I am thankful to God for And then I write down like declarations or affirmations of who God says I am. And then I write down like the dreams that I'm like praying and asking for God to help fulfill. Um, And then I write down my intentions for the day and my goals and schedule and all that good stuff. So, but I want every woman that goes through this 30 days of purpose challenge to have that as well, because I cannot emphasize enough how much change you can see when you start doing some of that mindset work first thing in the morning giving your day to God getting in the right mindset setting those intentions and so that you can actually start showing up and taking that action as the woman that God is calling you to be so all those things are included and we have like a special VIP coaching package if you are interested in that so all the details are on that website. Like I said, 30 days of purpose challenge.com. Um, just the number 30 and then days of purpose challenge. I'll put the link in the show notes. Um, I would love to have you in there. I'll keep the registration open for a little bit, but um, I want to get the group set up and give you guys some like pre challenge stuff to work on too before we like hit the ground running on January 2nd. So, If this is something you need, make sure you get registered now so you can get all the goodies. And um, yeah, I hope that these next two weeks bring you joy and help fill you with more purpose and more passion so that you can hit the ground running in 2022 and you can make it your best year ever. And I 
am excited to be here along, you know, this journey with you and to see what God does with you over this next year, even over these next few months. Um, I just think he's up to something big. And um, also, one more thing before I go. Um, So like I said, I have a couple of bonus episodes I'm sharing with you. Um, I was on my friend, Matt, who I've actually, he's supposed to be on my show, and we keep not being able to get the interview scheduled. But I was on one of his live trainings. We actually did two of them. And they were so good. And so he gave me those recordings so that you can um, listen to those. And he's actually interviewing me, but there was some really awesome nuggets in there. And I was like, I want my people to hear this. So he very kindly gave me those recordings. So those will be popping up soon um, in the podcast stream or feed, whatever you want to call it. Um, And I do have one more little mini episode I'm going to be recording here. So, um, and that's about it. But if you are a married person listening to this, if you and your spouse are trying to build a life of abundance, of wealth, you're trying to up-level your marriage, um, we have opened applications for a brand new, Ryan and I are doing a marriage and entrepreneurship mastermind in 2022. And it's going to be an intimate group of like-minded couples who are married, um, who want to take like their life and their marriage and their business to the next level next year. And I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a one-year experience. We'll be doing, you know, coaching calls together, have experts speaking into us and doing two in-person Um, retreats throughout the year. So I'm really excited about that. If that's something you're interested in, I'm adding the link to the show notes for that as well. It's coreyclark.com forward slash marriage if you want to look it up, or you can just click on the link in the show notes. But I'm really excited about that. And that's one of the things that we've been talking about, praying about, and have gotten a lot of confirmation about because um, Ryan and I are actually celebrating our 25th anniversary in January. And we really believe that um, marriage doesn't have to be hard all the time, that life doesn't have to be hard all the time. And, um, you know, when you surround yourself with like-minded people who also are really passionate about their marriage and about their life and about their biz- business and about furthering the kingdom, um, it really helps elevate you and take you to that next level. You know, who you surround yourself with is who you become. So we're really excited about that. So if you want to apply, um, applications are open for a few more weeks and um, it's not like a guaranteed spot. We look over the applications um, and make sure these, you know, everybody's a right fit for each other because it is, um, you know, it is, an intimate experience and we have to make sure that we protect that and honor everybody who is in the mastermind. So, all right, you guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe to the show and that you leave a five-star rating and review. I greatly appreciate it. And let me know that you're listening. Um, Screenshot this and share it on Instagram and give me a tag. Let me know what you think or what it has inspired you to take action on. And I will be seeing you guys soon. Bye, guys.